27 banks in three years. In and out in 90 seconds. No one ever gets shot. Now what are we talking about here? We're talking about solid professionals. Good moves. Surgical. Look at them separate the die pack. Dick and Ronnie know their jobs. They control the room well. And they stick strictly to the cash drawers. They don't go for the vault? No, they never go for the vault. They never get greedy. You're faced, I think, with an obligation responsibility how to do it differently. You know, I don't, you know, how to do it where, I mean, obviously there's been, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of bank robberies in the history of cinema. And how, how can you do it differently? How can it be somehow from a thematic standpoint, from um, uh, just a construction mechanical standpoint and ultimate, you know, effect and impact? How can you do it differently? Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. Everybody freeze! Nobody move! Keep your hands up in your eyes now! Everybody up and move your nest on the floor! Move it, move it! Now, get down! You have a cubicle! Get out of my way! So it's really a combination of shots. I mean, you have you have handheld masters where the cameraman is um, kind of countering the movement of the actor. In other words, which of course are broken by cutting, but the actor is moving through the whole sequence, and the cameraman is moving constantly counter to his moves. And it just creates a kind of sense of a sense of momentum that. Uh, it's sort of like the way the human eye perceives momentum anyway, as opposed to a static camera through, completely through cuts. The camera is whipping from one piece of motion or action or, or visual information to another, which is how human beings perceive. On the floor, asshole! <laughs> Put your hand on the ground! Don't look at me! Move it! Open the damn door! Part of the design of the show was that it was going to be incredibly subjective camera work where, as you can see, a lot of handheld, you're lit 360, camera's constantly moving, swinging, countering the movement of the actor. I had an extraordinary cameraman who was able to facilitate and a director of photography who was able to light a situation like this, which is very, very difficult for a crew. I mean, um, excellent for my purposes, but it gave, it gives the director infinite Flexibility. I mean, I can, I can shoot anywhere. I guess in the sequence we probably had, you know, three cameras, other cameras which were placed throughout, catching other pieces of information simultaneously. And obviously, sometimes you get the cameraman in the same shot, but you cut that out. I mean, you know, I don't care if my dailies look bad. You know, I just care what what I end up with. Get out of my way! Now back away from the counter and get your fucking hands up! Bitch, what's the matter with you? Hey, you got your wax? Back away, keep your hands wet! Tracking shot. Hands up! Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. We are the ex-presidents, and we need just a few moments of your time. We've been screwing you for years, so a few more seconds shouldn't matter, now should it? On the floor, asshole. Then camera whips down, whips up. Constant movement, everything is handheld. How you doing, Dick? When you're finding a scene like that, do you storyboard it? Uh, every single shot, yeah, from beginning to end. I mean, I can already kind of see it, and then I'll just put it all out into pictures, however many it takes or however complicated it, the, the particular, you know, needs of the scene. Especially with action, you really need to be methodical. You need to have every, every image um, boarded. And um, the intensity of the action alone is something that, that uh, requires a lot of planning and preparation or else you know, it could be potentially dangerous. Time, Mr. Carter! 60! LBJ! We're styling. Oh, Ron! I got Nancy on the line! Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> Ow! 80! Air Force One is waiting, Mr. President! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Get your hands where I can fucking see them! Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and please don't forget to vote! I'm not a crook! <laughs> It's almost like choreographing a kind of dance in a way. So, um, you know, these characters have to move in such a way because they're countered by somebody else and, you know, different falls, different roles here. You know, you really, um, you know, you're, otherwise you're filming chaos, which of course would be nice too. Tell me a little bit about the chase sequence, which goes on forever and is completely extraordinary. It was just an extrapolation on 
um, technique, you know, finding its kind of narrow chambers, almost like a maze-like situation, and wanting to be, wanting, wanting it to feel kind of like, you know, truly a maze, and, and uh, almost like Mr. Toad's wild ride. You know, every time you go, you know, you turn right, and you, you know, you're faced with something, you have to turn left, and you know, something you go through, you know, this sort of series of corridors and obstacles, and, and uh, constantly being met by, uh, you know, more and more surprises. It's like a military maneuver. You didn't do second takes. I was on a video remote talking to the cameraman as he was running as fast as my actors, you know, through all these situations. And, and um, but it, it, again, we kind of choreographed it very carefully with the stunt coordinator and with all the various stunt personalities and went through it very slowly, walked through the whole thing very slowly and then got faster and faster and faster and finally as you get more confidence you, know, you can you just do it at speed with the truck with the kids with the bike with the girl with the you know the woman with the hose with the lawnmower with you know the dog everything dog for some of the some of the shots and a stuffed dog for like the shot where he kicks it obviously you know so so um, there you have to you know all your momentum grinds to a halt and you have to you know do some pieces but again you just do them handheld so they cut in really fluidly as if you know the cuts really become invisible and and then you're moving on again with your 18 pound camera <laughs> Go making films like this. Um, more films like this. I don't know. I don't know. I like the intensity. I like the momentum. But I'm really driven by story and character. So, um, if you know, if if it's dictated, you know, through story and character, you know, definitely uh, the intensity will not be lacking. <laughs>